As the Tribeca Film Festival draws to a close on Sunday, one film in particular stands out. British director Lucy Malloy's Una Noche, an unforgettable coming-of-age story set in Havana, Cuba. The film has won three awards in the narrative feature film categories, Best Cinematography, Best Director, and Best Actor, a shared honor between Una Noche's two male leads, Dariela Rechada and Javier Núñez Florian. But the triumph is bittersweet for Dariel, who traveled to New York without his two co-stars, Javier and Anailin. In the most perfect example of life imitating art, two Cuban actors in a film about fleeing Cuba have done exactly that. I'm sad because they're my friends. I wish they were here, you know. But I'm happy for them regardless. For, for Javier, Javier and for Ana Eileen and for, and for, and for all of us. I miss them. I miss, I miss him. In an exclusive interview the day after the Tribeca Film Festival Awards, Dariel spoke to us about the last conversation he had with his co-stars at the Miami International Airport. Well, the last conversation was... Well, the last conversation was them telling me they were going to walk around, look at the shops, and just relax, since we were going to be there all day. And that was it. Then I didn't see them again. We had previously been outside, sharing a cigarette, waiting, and talking about the fact that the next day we'd be in New York. So when I saw them, they said, we'll be back. And that was that. Lucy spent some six years crafting an emotionally rich story in which three teens attempt to leave Cuba for Miami on a raft. Inevitably, she became attached to the young actors. I'm sure the night of the premiere you must have been disappointed that things turned out the way they did, but now having had more time to think about it, how do you feel about the decision of them to stay of in Miami? Javier and, I, and Alin, um, I, it, like Dariel said, that they're, they're adults, they make their own, they can make their own choices. I would have loved them to have been here, it would have been amazing to see them, I was really excited to see them and, you know, we've worked together for such a long time, I feel like they're family, so it's, it's, quite, it's tough in a way, yeah. but they, they make their own decisions and they're, they're free to, to, to do what they want to do and I wish them all the best and I really hope that I get to see them soon, so. Dariel says he hasn't spoken to his co-stars, but he did take the opportunity on Friday to send them a special message. I want to say that I care about them, and we miss them, Lucy, myself, and everyone, and I wish them good luck. More than anything, good luck. A week earlier, we sat down with Dariel, who seemed excited about his first trip to America having already presented the film in Berlin. Well, it's like they say, the United States is the capital of the world. So you always want to see how life is here. When I was in Berlin, I said, wow, this is beautiful. But people told me, wait till you see New York. From what I've seen, it's incredible here. I almost don't believe it. I have to ask myself, am I really here? <laughs> With only one week left, Dariel is making the most out of his time in New York, using the lessons he learned on this trip and while making this movie. The biggest lesson is just to always stay positive. Lucy used to tell me before, you'll see, good things can come out of this. And I said, no way. <laughs> But look, good things are happening. At the end of the day, Dariel says he has his own reasons for wanting to go back home to Cuba, and he'll do so happily. The main reason is my family. No matter what, it's where I was born and raised. With time, you adapt to life there, what we call el cubaneo. Just like in Mexico, they have a way of life. 
I've met many Cubans here. And I feel like there's a connection. Maybe they miss being around other Cubans. And the way we talk. They ask me how things are over there. It's your country. It's your people. 